Hello there and welcome to a general pick a card reading. We're going to get into your person's sexual fantasies about you. So if you want to book a personal reading with me, please follow the description box below. You'll see my email and you'll see my website. However, if you click my website, you'll get to see a lot of the things that I do offer. Um, but I do have it set up so that you have to email me regardless before you purchase. So um, with that being said, go ahead and email me as well. You'll get more detailed information about what I offer and, and what the best package is for you and when and where you can uh, and how you can purchase, how we go about everything, the protocol, etc. So go ahead and email me if you want to book a personal reading with me. Thank you all the Morph Team members and supporters for your feedback. Okay, I really appreciate it. The more I get out there, the more I know that people are enjoying my content and learning and etc. So thank you so much for your feedback. Let's go ahead and get into this general reading about your person's sexual fantasies about you. So we have three decks here. So you can pick a number one, two, or three, and we're going to get into what your person, uh, his sexual or her sexual desires, fantasies are about you. So pile number one, what is your person's sexual fantasies about you? We have the six of swords, we have Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. We have the Eight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Seven of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the Devil here, okay, Capricorn energy, the Ten of Wands, more fire energy, and the Ace of Pentacles, more earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. So, so far, before we get into the other half of your deck, all right. I like, I like this person likes lavish with you. I get that there is someone who... Um, it's like a team player. They like to include you in on everything. So they like to make sure that you're satisfied and that they're satisfied. There's someone who would like to climax at the same time as you. Okay, there's someone who will voice like, okay, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. Are you there? Are you there? You know, there's someone like that. Okay, so regardless if you've had sex with them or not, they, they envision, um, even if you've had this this moment with them where you guys climax together, they are someone who likes who, who um, pictures um having that climax with you. I get here that for the majority of you, pile number one, you guys have not had sex, or you guys have not climaxed together, or you guys have not voiced that you're climaxing. So they're kind of kinky. Um, they like to voice everything that's going on, okay, in sex. They want to talk dirty to you. They want to call you puta madre. You know, they want to, <laughs> without saying bitch, they want to call you a slut or whatever they want to say. That was very vulgar, but they may not even be get disrespectful. They want to voice um, those things to you. It's like, uh, they want you to call them daddy or papi or, you know, mama, mamacita, chula, chupa, you know, vai chupa. They want to say all these dirty things in, like, other languages. They want to talk very, very, very dirty to you, all right? <laughs> um, I get that some of you, though, have not um, done that. You could have had sex, right? Um, this card does still talk about lust and sex for me, okay? And there's a lot of lust here, so they dream about you. But this card tells me that for half of you watching, you have not had sex together, and that same half of you... Um, uh, have not voiced your climax. I get that this person wants to do that with you. They want to say, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. That's what I hear. Okay, like, I'm almost there. Are you there? Are you there? Uh, okay, it's, it's coming. It's coming. My, you know, it's da 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 I think I get that they, they, they uh, dream of that with you. And it could be because for half of you, you guys have not. You guys have been very timid and shy with the things that you say. You guys have kind of just kept back, held back a lot. So one of this person's fantasies for you, okay, you could be any sign here, and they can be any sign here, is that they want to be able to um, talk to you. So I think that for those of you who have been in sexual contact, especially who have not, it seems like you guys um, have been a little bit more timid and shy. You just kind of get right to the point, you two, and it's very, 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 very satisfying. I mean, your sex with this person, pile number one, and their sex with you, I think it's already very... Um, climaxing for them so it's like even on their way to you before you even get into sex even if you guys argue before the sex happens whatever negative is happening here it's kind of like there's always um, a climax there's always something for you guys to do there's always um, it's it's like uh, you guys can't fail all right so I get that some of you may argue okay there's fire energy here so for an example if some of you argue before sex or you talk before sex and it's something to like set the mood they could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius or something like that or even an Aries Leo Sagittarius a Capricorn um, even though you guys like to get right to it so you do but I think this sex the person's fantasy is to like for you guys to um, maybe take your time um, or, or speed it up it could go both ways but I get that um, they get very excited with you they want to be able to um, I think, I think this person would like to foreplay with you. They would like to foreplay. They would like to treat you kind of, um, I get that they want to, <laughs> you 
they want to um, maybe like smack your ass, get you get a little physical, a little more um, raunchy, a little more aggressive with you in a way where because I think this person is se sexual fantasy is to open up with you. They want you both to open up. So I get that it could be one sided here that one person opens up and the other doesn't, or you both open up to a certain extent, but they want you both to kind of like be riding out on a hurricane. So if you've ever seen that Kanye West and like um, Kim Kardashian music video, I think it was, where they're both on this horse and you really just see them kind of going the vibration together. I think that's kind of something that they want. They want um, a lot of electricity, they want loud ass music, or they want like a lot of people around, or they want it in a hostile environment. They want it somewhere or some kind of way where it's gonna be like, where it almost feels difficult. Okay, because with you it seems with you too it seems very calm and relaxing, and I think that's the thing that 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 has them in love with you. I think that's the thing that has them pining after you, lusting after you, dreaming about you, everything. But so because of and and I get that you, some of you could be in separation. So with this devil here, it says a lot of animosity that's built up. So they have a lot of anger built up. So their fantasy with you, and I'm and it's not even that you guys have been only out of communication. So if you are or are not out of communication, it seems that still no matter what, they're always kind of like pining after you. You. Whew, okay, so um, I get that they like foreplay. They want to foreplay with you. I get that they don't want to just do everything at once. They want like one day for it to be a hostile environment. The other day they want it to be like this. The other day they want it to be like that. Like they just want to have a field day with you, okay? But they definitely, the main thing that I get here is that they want to be able to voice, um, you know, when it hurts or when it's hard or do it harder. You're like one of those like people who probably dress really um, conservative. You probably could be one of those women, right? Or men that dress really conservative and they just want to see you unravel. Okay, so you could be an Aries, right? You could be a, um, you could be some sort of like Virgo. You, you have like these deep, uh, troubled, very seductive eyes, okay? And um, you could be a Scorpio, right? You, or anyone, you could even be a Cancer. You could have this very innocent vibe to you, but they want to see you erupt, okay? So you're very like, um, buttoned up suit and tie you're kind of someone who they want to see unravel they want to see you unravel they want to see your eyes roll back okay they, they picture you naked so maybe some of you who when you have sex you don't take your top off or you don't like take some part of you off maybe you just like move your underwear to the side and i'm saying all of that because they just want to be able to open up with you they want to be able to see the devil in you they want to be able to see that that freak in you okay so their fantasy number one though for those of you who that resonated with it's like they want to be able to they want you to say something like ah, i'm almost there i'm almost there my muscles are tightening like my ovaries are tingling you know those people say so they want you to be able to voice that they want to see you in some sort of vulnerable pain they want to like it's almost like they want to like they're just, they say, you have no idea the things that I would do to you, okay? So let's see the rest of your spread. It's the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have the Two of Wands, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. The Lovers, Gemini. And the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So it could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So their sex is very slow, but very penetrating. It's very, um... Okay, so... Someone here is very fast moving. So we have the Eight of Wands, which talks about fast paced change. We have the Seven of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So they're very emotionally driven. So they're very fast. We have Capricorn energy. It's a very fast energy. It's probably one of the most swift, fast moving energies of the of the Earth signs. Okay. Then we have the Ten of Wands, which signifies work. Okay, burdens and all kinds of things, but still pushing through that barrier. We have the Ace of Pentacles, more Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, which is the beginning and the start of everything new. Okay, the Six of Swords, which talks about movement. So I get a lot of movement here. And then we have more Earth energy, right? So, but then now we have, um, so, okay, one second, because I just had it. The Spirit wants me to say something else. So there's a lot of movement here. But I also get that there's, um, a slow movement here too is Taurus is speaking to me. So I'm getting that the sex that's between you or that's going to happen, right, that they want to happen is a, is a sex that's going to be very slow. So someone here is a little impatient. Someone here just really wants to get the sex done. I think the both of you kind of meet on that page where you guys just want to come in and just get it done. You love, you love, you love, but, you know, not lovey-dovey. You just want to get fucked and, and, like, move forward. You might want to chill after. You may be sappy because we have this Cancer and Pisces Scorpio energy here. So it tells me that the both of you could be on that page, but with this Taurus energy that I'm picking up on, or even the Aries, 
um, with the arguments, but the slower movement may say that um, one of you may not be satisfied with the other person's sex because someone is a little more slow. Someone likes to talk. Someone likes to get into the mood when the other's already in the mood, okay? So it says that um, they might want to start using like toys on you or get a third party in, in, in the situation. Someone here is afraid that they're not going to be able to live up to their uh, standard. So, all right. They, they might want to start using toys, but I get that not only toys, if it's not toys, we have the Ace of Pentacles twice, you guys, okay? So I get that they want to, um, like, maybe make it rain on you. They want to be a little dramatic about it. They want to, like, they want to wow you, okay? So I'm getting that they might want to dress up. They might want to, like, um, get you on your knees or they want to get on their knees and pleasure you down there. You know what I'm saying? They really want to see what you're working with down there. They want to play with your boobs. They want to see what you're working with down there. They want to take all of your clothes off. Okay. Some of you just, there's a bunch of necklaces here, but for some of you that wear like a medallion that has, it's like, um, maybe like has a black medallion. Um, they want to, they want to, I think they want to shove something inside of you. So not only because this Gemini is here, but I'm getting a lot of like tools and objects here. I'm getting a lot of third party energies here. So maybe there's there needs there wants to be a threesome, but I'm getting that this person could be a Gemini for an example or a fire sign. And they know that their sex is a little slow for you because they think that they wanna they wanna um, coddle you, they kinda wanna like be very gentle with you. But they want you to open up, so they're trying to understand how to, how to get you to open up here, okay? That's what they want to do. They want to get you to open up, and then they want to insert. So I'm getting that they want to fuck you with their own, you know, genitals, and then but they want to be able to, like, use toys on you. They want to be able to dress up, role play, wow you, wow the hell out of you. They want to make you unravel. They want to unravel you. Someone, I wanted to say that someone here is a little upset about the pace, though. Someone does not like the pace that... It's like you're anticipating um, for to come, but you don't. You come like two minutes later when it's unexpected. So this person wants to um, get you unexpectedly and um, because they want to see you open up. If you're expecting it, you could be a Scorpio. If you're expecting it, um, then it's like it's not as thrilling for you, and that for them is not... Um, helping and I get that this person could be in a relationship and that's why we have this third party more so okay they don't necessarily want to have a threesome with you okay they want like a three third party like other things they want objects they want things that can wow you they maybe they'll give you money they'll give you whatever you want they'll feed you before they want to take you out you know they want to go the extra mile but I get that um this is this person can't focus on their relationship okay we have that seven of cups they can't focus on their relationship. They keep wanting to come to you because you're so unable to be grabbed. You're very um, hard to get, okay? Um, so that's their sexual fantasy with you, honestly, is that they want to be able to, um, they want to be able to see your vulnerable side, okay? They want to hear you moan loud as hell, you know? They don't need you to scream if they didn't you that bad you know what I mean but they need to see the real reactions in you they don't want you to expect what's coming okay they they don't want to take it so easy on you because they know that you can handle a lot okay because you can handle a lot you can handle a big package and this person could have a big package or just a lot of good stroke game and all kinds of stuff okay um I get that they want to like they want to um they really want, like, if they have toys or they're into toys or just even objects, not even a legit toy, they want to be able to, like, they want to, um, we can have, like, sex on the floor. They want you to, like, scrub the ground and stuff. I get that they want genitals on things that aren't supposed to be on genitals. So, you know, and I get a lot of white here, so you'll, you know, make sure you clean up before and after kind of thing. But I get that they really want to, like, play with you with their hands or with toys, okay? So they just want to see you roll your eyes back. You know, they want to know when you're climaxing. They want to see you squirt. They want to see you let it all out. You know what I mean? They want it outside, 100%. Outside, on the floor, or on a table. You know, even on top of a roof. Okay, they want to, they want to do that with you. Okay? 
I think this person knows that their sex may be a little slower, but it is very aggressive and they're waiting to be able to be aggressive with you because that's the other part of them. They want to be able to give you all of them. And they know that that's what's going to be able to open you up, but they're just waiting for that opportunity. This person, if they're in a relationship, they cannot focus on their home or on their person because their person has maxed out everything that they can do. They, 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 they're not able to perform any new tricks with them, and it's not exciting with them. And they have you, who they just see all of this new opportunity with. Everything that they are, they can be able to use with you. You know, if they have a lot of toys, if they're into kinky things, they know that you're the person that they can come to. You're very girly, someone like you. You wear a lot of pink, or even if not, you're just very girly, and you're someone who's like, they're a cheerleader. You're like a, a perky cheerleader, and they want to be able to really turn you out. You're like Caroline from the Vampire Diaries, you know. Klaus liked her for a reason, Tyler, and stuff like that. You've got the spunk, and they want to be able to bring the spunk out in you. All right, so that's what I've got from pile number one, the sexual fantasies. I hope you resonated with that. I hope you liked that. I hope that was enough. So let's go into pile number two. What is your person's sexual fantasies about you? we got the five of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the Three of Wands, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We have the Ten of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What a pretty card. We have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. More fire energy with the, with the Page of Wands. More fire energy with the Five of Wands. Before we get into the other half. So let's see what your person's sexual fantasies are about you. Pile number two is um okay okay this is more of like a wholesome thing i don't get like dirtiness here anything like too raunchy so i mean you two are um or they are i think um hmm interesting First of all, they do, um, if you've ever known someone who just wants to fuck you to give you babies, they want to, their, their sexual fantasy is to make, is to make such good love that I think they go in protected, but I think their fantasy is to accidentally, the rubber comes off and it's really about, it's really not something that, um, they, um, they did, but they intended to. Okay, I think this person is very cautious. They could already have kids, so they don't just want to keep popping more and more and more kids out. But they want to have kids with you. But they, they, they're someone who does not want to inflict it. All right? They're, they're stubborn in a way. So we have the first energy here is Earth, so they could be Taurus. Um, but I think they've gone through their life making mistakes as far as kids or any mistakes that they, they rush into. They're very impulsive, maybe. So I feel like their sexual fantasy about you is to have such good love making that they feel on cloud nine and whatever happens from there happens and what they want to happen is that you have kids. All right. So they're someone who's very prepared. They come very equipped. You would never be able to tell if this person wants kids with you or not. They're very hard ass and you don't ask them questions. You don't ask them if you want kids. If you do, it's kind of like a bad thing. Like that's a no go. But their actual fantasy is to have kids with you. And... I feel like they want to, they're very, they can be um, rambunctious, they can be childish. That's just the word that I'm looking for. They can be childish. They can be someone who's very manipulative, okay? I don't say that because the king of wands. I say that more so because of the page of wands, this five of wands, and then the five of pentacles, and then also the outcome, their power, and then how they just wake up in the morning and get a cup of coffee knowing what they've done. It's kind of like smooth sailing. Takes me away. They're kind of dramatic. And so because they're dramatic, they don't like to put their hands on things because they know they might ruin them. They just would like for them to happen. So they want kids with you. Um, it, this person likes arguments. They like... They like um, the bittersweet. And if you say bad news or good news, they want the bad news first and then 
Or they might want the good news first and then just listen to the bad news. I don't know. This person likes arguments. They like drama. And, like, from this moment, he'll pick his head up and say, oh, thank you, Shari. You know, he wasn't really crying. It's like swipe or no swiping. So I think this this guy likes, um, okay, so he's got a lot of toys here. So this really tells me that he comes equipped. So he's always got his rubber or she's always, you know, clean and ready to go, you know, whatever the girl's got to do to, to prepare, they're prepared, and the guys, they're prepared, so, but I feel like, um, he's the type that wants you to unbutton him, he wants you to take his pants off, he wants you to take his shirt off, you know, don't tell him, but just, like, do it, you know, he'll want you to, sh you know, stroke your hands through his hair, he'll want you to get on top, and then as soon as you make that initiative, he'll be the one to, like, flip you over, or he'll do all the work for you, okay? He'll move you for him, all right? So, but, and um, he likes to see, you know, here, I'm looking at this one, the cat's looking up at the bird, and I love how the one with the red scarf is just kind of waiting patiently while everyone else looks like they're going to jump at the bird, and the bird's like, ah, you can't get me, but the bird is like a bald eagle at the same time. So it's kind of like equal, it's kind of like, um, you both are uh, eagle eye. You both have that same kind of smarts. You kind, you both come from two different places. So you guys are probably complete opposites, but the fact that you both look at each other and it connects. So I'm saying like, uh, I think um, one thing. This could be a twin flame situation, okay? Just because of this chemistry that. Um, his eyes flare up and yours flare down. It's kind of like the peacock is the male is the one with the flat with the feathers and the girl is the... I'm not sure. There's a mating call here. And um, it's like he waits for you to make the move. And then once you do that, he knows that it's red light. You know, it's green light, really. And um, that's, you know, it's, it's all over from there. So I'm trying to understand what the sexual fantasy is here because I hate, I would hate to just say, oh, his sexual fantasy is to give you kids, but it really is. So if you know that your guy is kind of like got a lot of kids or he's someone who's a strickler and doesn't just make big plans anymore, or he does. So this is his turning point with this three of wands. Okay. He's trying to be different, um, but he, he definitely wants this with you. He wants to see kids out of his um, untouched, un it's like not forced the desires, okay? He wants to see a beauty come, come, come about from what he's done. Because I get this man has probably done things in his life that he's not proud of. Not to say that his life, you know, hasn't been marvelous or spectacular or that he hasn't succeeded where he was going in life. But it more so about like... I don't know, he, he's, a, he's a drama queen, he's, she's a drama queen, he's a drama king, whatever, and I feel like whatever he puts his hands on, it kind of just fails, you know, he doesn't say the right things at the right time or whatever, and his fantasy is to be with someone who understands that, so I get that some of you have not been together, this is all just kind of like up in your head, for the majority of you who have not been together, I think um, you two are definitely a match. So once you do link up, it's kind of like, you guys are going to tear shit up. I mean, you guys are going to tear shit up. I'm just looking at the both of these cards. Number one, minus the kids. You got two kids there. Newborns. They're only probably about like two years, one year and two months apart. But I'm looking at these, you know. The, bee, the bees walk nest, and then there's shit all over the floor here. The cats running shit up, and the five of wands is arguments. You know, it's rambunctious behavior. Both of these cards are both fire energies. But um, it, it also talks about taking a leap of faith, okay? It takes a leap of faith or a new direction into um, who you are and, and deep, going deeper into what you two know about each other. So, okay, so some of you could have um, been together. Some of you were together and had kids. And for those of you, it's, it's just kind of like you guys want to give it another go. Or you guys want to give it a go for the first time. And um, I get that there wants, someone wants, you know, you guys want to bite each other. You guys want to scrape each other and give each other marks. And, you know, because um, 
so one of you is the very big drama queen and the other one just wants to say, shut up, you know, and, and kiss me, you know, or, you know, you'll just kiss them instead of saying that. Um, yeah, I really do get that. So let's see what else we have. We have the tower card, tower, out of the blue, something kind of catastrophe, ace of swords in reverse, three of swords in reverse, and we have the devil. So this is a relationship that has definitely been ongoing, however it may, 3D, 5D, both. And it's a relationship that has been in turmoil for quite some time. Um, you guys, you know, it could be karmic too, you know. It, um, lots of karma in twin flame situations, lots of karma in soulmate situations, you know, you name it. But, um... But it, it also, this doesn't just talk to me about breakups and not being together and the arguments. It talks about uh, this, you know, this out of the blue, this, you know, kind of like whack attack, uh, cataract, you know, <laughs> whiplash of, um, of how you two are together, of the sex. So it's just, you know, um, I like I said, twin flame because you two just both are so opposite, but you meet at the same point, at the same red dot. It's like bullseye. That's what I'm seeing. And I love how this is in reverse, so it doesn't talk about breaking broken hearts and stuff like that. It's really just talking about the two of you in action or in connection, in relationship, in telepathic communication. This is the bullseye that I'm talking about. And it's like another one meets the eye. So let me try to get this out. And then we have the devil. So with this tower and the bullseye, it's releasing pain. You know, you two need to release um, your author, your your need to control everything, okay? Because both of you are pretty much control freaks. One could be a Scorpio, one could be an Aries. You could be a, a Gemini. I mean, you could be anyone that's a that's a fixed sign or not. You guys are control freaks. So, and with that, you guys still meet up. But I think you guys need to um, let it out with one another. How you feel about one another. You guys are gonna tear shit up, and I think that's what this really talks about. You guys are gonna tear the place up. I mean, bullseye and with the devil is like this communication, this not focusing on the fixed nature in your heads, the two of you, okay? Not fixating on what's right, what's wrong. Just doing what you feel, releasing the burden, releasing the pain, releasing even rambunctious acts of, um, <laughs> you know, of kindness. To be sarcastic, releasing, releasing the hurt for sure, releasing the pain. Um, with the devil, it says that you two are very attached to one another. I think you two are attached to sex or what sex could be like, even if it's not sex. Okay, there's sexual fantasy. Is that you two just fuck like kids? You, you, to let go it's like I really get a kid sense vibe here and they do want to have kids with you and I feel like I feel like for some of you say no they don't want to have kids with me they have too many or they don't have any kids or they can't have kids their fantasy here is to first and foremost just fuck like there's no care in the world okay that song by Alicia Keys comes to my mind Kiss me like you never see me again. Oh. Something like that. I don't really listen to Alicia Keys. But basic, but a, but a fucking version. And it's like, you guys, um, I think after that you become inseparable. Um, they want to just fall into the sex act with you, okay? It says that even when you when you come back together, for some reason, for some of you are going to be getting in arguments. For some reason, some of you aren't going to tell the whole truth. Some of you are just going to be dramatic and see who kind of makes the first move. So I think their sexual fantasy with you is to have sex. And I think the kid-like nature is going to come naturally for the both of you. The tower represents the fact that you two just can't get it together. All right, and it's because when you come together for some of you, it's kind of like it's just a natural pull, you know, and that's what you guys are dying for. But 
with this devil and the three of swords in reverse and the ace of swords in reverse, I think one of you comes from this point of view and then the other's coming from here. So one of you is um, really up in your head and the other one of you is up in your heart. So someone was really head hurt and the other one was heart hurt and then you come together and you guys kind of feed each other that pain and then you're both kind of stuck in this this atmosphere. So for those of you who have had sex, it seems like the sex keeps gets you to deeper and deeper and deeper into this like love nest. I think the, the fantasy here is to continue this charade but have kids or um, end up in a happy, harmonious relationship. So they feel like this is a, probably a dream. Some of them don't feel like you guys are going to get this because this is where you guys are constantly. You guys keep, you know, falling. But this is their fantasy, is to have a happy ending with you, is what I said all that to say. Okay, I have to understand it. Um, they want to release the pain. They want to release the pain. Okay, the both of you do. Okay. All right, so if you want to know more about this situation, why there's so much turmoil, or um, how you guys are going to be able to release those karmic debts, you know, release that karmic nature, the negative nature that's not allowing you two to move forward, please follow the description box below. But that, deck number two, they really want to make amends with you, and they want to have the same sex, but this time... Um, you could be same-sex relationship. They want to progress and they want to end up seeing you two together with with kids, okay, in a happy um, relationship because you two's sex is probably the best that they've ever had, okay? So let's see for pile number three. Sorry about that. Okay, pile number three. What are their sexual fantasies about you? We've got the Ten of Wands. Oh, actually, I did this one. So I put this... Oh, so pile number three. You could be a fire sign. So you have the hermit. I'm so sorry about that glitch. The hermit, major arcana number nine, king of swords. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Pisces kind of energy, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the four of cups, feeling stuck. The wheel of fortune, major arcana number 10, good karma, good luck. Okay. The king of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and the fool card. That's awesome. Major arcana number zero. Before we get into the rest of your spread, let's see what their sexual desires or fantasies are have been about you. So, um, first of all, this person wants to ask you what you want and provide. That's just one card with this King of Swords. So also we know about the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They like toys. They like mental stimulation. They like good music. Um, they like to sniff. They like to taste, okay, um, to a certain extent. They like to laugh. They like a little bit of everything, okay, with you. Um, and, you know, that that they might like to talk before. They might like to, you know, uh, enter your psyche just a little bit um, and it may throw you off because it's it's only your genitals they're getting into but they want to be able to know what you like so I really understand that they want to ask you kind of what you like in any way that they may ask you they may be very forward or they may be a little bit more lengthy about it okay so they want to be able to please you any way that you can I get that that person is also going to be able to please themselves but they're going to compromise with you what you like they're going to say, okay, all right, I can do that. And they'll do it up to their standard that they like it and make sure that you're completely pleased as well. So that's just from the King of Swords. So this is someone who is very into um, pleasing, pleasing people. They don't want to displease you. They don't want you to leave anything, you know, less than satisfied and not too satisfied. They want you to just be right because they don't want you to kind of like, you know, be too involved or be too obsessed. So I do get that this person is someone who likes the balance of things. I get that with the four of cups, you know, that's neither nay nor yay. That's just kind of being emotionally stuck because um, I really do get that this is a perfectionist with the Virgo first and then the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So there's somebody who likes to understand you before they take take action because they this may be someone who's not very committal. Now, not in a negative way, but it seems like if you're watching, they do want to have sex with you, but they don't want anything more while they're having sex. They just want to perform the art of sex and make it art and crafts. <laughs> also, the 10... You know, the wheel of fortune is, is balanced, good karma, good love, good fortune. So they just, they want a good time. They want to have a good time and they're going to make sure that they get that with you. 
Okay, so this person could really want a future with you as well for all of this effort of wanting balance and making you happy and being happy with you. So they do want to climax with you, kind of like pile number one. They want to be able to make sure that you both climax. They don't, they're not begging to hear you say it because they know they're going to hear you say it. They know they're going to see your eyes roll back. This person is very confident and they want the sex with you to be very confident. So take it how it applies if your sex has not been very confident or on top. If you're a Leo, you, you know you don't apply yet so far. Um, um, but maybe even so, uh, you could be a cancer or something and it's just like maybe emotions get in the way. I get that some of you have dealt with one another before. Um, so if you have dealt with one another before, they're just coming back into this a little bit more um, strategic, a little more smart. They're coming back into it. Okay, that didn't work out then. Okay, we didn't get anywhere then. So let's see where we can go now. So this person's really, 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 really working on balance with you. All right, uh, then we have the King of Cups, more Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So this is being emotionally balanced, okay? This is someone who is um, not going to let what happened in the past or what may happen in the future, only what's going to happen right now dictate what they do. And they're going to use everything that they know right now to, to please you, to please them, to have a great time, a memory, a, a nice letter to write home to Ma, you know, or put it in your diary, don't write it to Mom. But there's someone who wants to definitely please you and they want to have a good time with you. So they could have had, they could have been with you for those that you have not been with this person or um, you haven't had sex with them or you're waiting. And, you know, this is someone who um, is a people pleaser, okay, with this, with the Virgo. And it's ta this is right on top of this card. They're a people pleaser and they could just be a very a little more emotional. So they know that everything that they put forth is going to have to shine and reflect on them. How much fun you have means how much fun they are. So this is someone who definitely wants to make sure that you have a good time, okay? So that they have a good time and that they can be like, you know, check they had a great time with me and give them good reviews. So they're very into their, um, what do you call that, uh, reputation. But as far as with you, they're not somebody who sleeps around. They're not somebody who, I mean, if they do, they're very strategic about it. And I don't think that they're, they're people that they've been with are very messy. They could be with this, with this king of swords. I get that, um, damn, sex with this person seems very, like, planned. I guess I'm looking at it behind the scenes. So if I were to have, if you're going to have sex with this person after, even if you've already have, at least right now, your sexual desire is to make sure that everything goes smoothly. So whatever you guys have gone through, if you, when you guys do it again, or if you do it again, if you allow this, it's going to be much better this time because they're planning. But I don't know how that's going to work out for you if they're planning so much because they're coming from literally all aspects. We have the full card, Major Arcana, Zero. So we have three major arcana, so they're really working hard for you. So the fact that I almost said that they may not want a future with you was something that I was not uh, um, really saying. I was like, go back, because I was hesitant on saying that. I, I just, I do get that there's someone who um, is, is a, a stickler, so you can't be that much of a stickler for something you don't like or don't want in your in your life. Now, if they don't want that and they're not, they're non-committal or they're kind of fickle, it's because... They really care about their reputation, and they really care about what you think about them. So the fool card means, like, you know, taking a leap of faith and just saying, okay, fuck it, I'm going to go do it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to reach out to her, and hopefully this is the, this is it the, this time, you know, because they don't feel like they, they um, satisfied you 100%. So maybe before, if you, if you have had sex with this person, they were like, are you good now? Because they maybe already came, and you were just kind of like... You know, however you were, you could have been really giggly, smiley, laughing, whatever. I mean, but they had to ask you if you were good and you were like, yeah. So this time they don't want to have to do that. I think that really killed their ego. Um, and so they're coming back for round two, round three, round four, whatever. All right. So let's see what the rest of this is. Right now it looks like perfection is what they're looking at and their sexual desire with you. And I get mainly for the, a lot of you that is because um, they love you. They love you. I think that this person loves you and they want to be able to, 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 um, they want to be able to, um, what do you call it? Uh, impress you. They want to impress you. Okay. They don't feel like they've impressed you in the past. Okay. They, there's someone who is emotionally stuck on you. They like to get dressed up for you. They like to look good for you. Um, okay. They really do. So they may wear hats with you because their hair, they don't know what to do with their hair or something that I get. Um, but when their hair is shown and it's freshly cut, they want you to see it. There's someone who likes to impress you very, very much. Was the cards like this? Yeah. All right. I'm not sure. 
So we've got the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, more perfectionism. So it's probably a Virgo you're dealing with or just someone who's a perfectionist. It could even be water signs, air signs. We're all perfectionists, right? Okay, we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So they're, 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 um, they're selfish. They don't want to share you. Four of Pentacles in reverse, okay? And the Queen of Wands upright. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and, and Fire is the main thing here. So mainly I get that they don't want to share you. They're not good team players. So that, and then we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So instead of being greedy, they're open or overindulging. So what these two cards tell me is that because of all this perfectionism up here, is that, um, one second, Th that they're, this one in reverse, that they're not a team player for the mere fact that they're trying to be so perfect in what they do and they're planning everything out before they can come see you so they can, um, that it's not, it's, it's saying that it's not something that you're going to like. So if you have had sex and this is the case and it's resonating, they're going to come back again with something a little less, a little short. So they're going to come back short again because they're not being a team player. They're not understanding what the feelings about it is. They're just kind of going for the logic or like, I don't want to fuck up again or I want to know what this person likes. And instead, maybe you're the type of person who just wants them to go with the flow and they don't really know how. Um, and then the four of pentacles in reverse, because, you know, upright, it's, it's um, keeping to yourself, but for your betterment and, the, and later. And this is kind of like um, overspending, overthinking, okay, spending too much time on just this one occasion when it's not to say that they shouldn't take pride in, in, in loving you, but it's more so about like, you know, you're spending too much time on sex or something that's supposed to be fun and freeing. You know, we have this eight of pentacles, which talks about mastering your skills. So it's like, geez, it's, you know, you're doing more and you're doing a lot. This person is really trying to do a lot. So I get that their sexual fantasy before we get into maybe the um, the details, the, the queen of wands, so a dark side and a social butterfly. They want to be able to be everything for you. They want to talk you up and then they also want to show you, you know, what they can do. The dark side, their um, articulate side, their in, insects, articulate insects, detailed, very kinky. Um, they want to show you all the things they, they, that they can do. So if they finger you, I get that this person's very good with their hands. The hands is something that is very, 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 very common in this reading. They, if they finger you, they want you to like feel their their nail bed. And I don't think they'll have long fingers, but maybe they do because long fingernails. But maybe they do because they're so quirky and so strung out here. It's weird that they may not even be able to know how to do it right. So they want you to feel their whole finger. Like they want you to very very detailed about what they're doing because they work very hard and when they think about something or when they're going to do something they take a lot a lot a lot a lot of time to think so everything's planned out there's nothing that can go wrong and so so for there nothing to go wrong they're going to do it exactly how they planned it over and over and over and over and over again all right <laughs> this sex sounds mad boring. I don't know. But, I mean, it, it, this is just the planning of it all. So, now let's get into what they want to do, perhaps. Um, so they definitely want it to be perfect with you, okay? I get, this person really, really cares about your opinion. They don't want to share you. That when, it, when it comes time for you and them, they don't want it to be anyone but you and them. No animals, no rain, no extra high wind. I mean, they're just like, they're so focused on you. Oh my God. So this person, if they're away from you or if they're in another relationship, God forbid that relationship. And that's probably what this dark side highlights on and this three of pentacles in reverse. So they could be in a relationship and they're not even focused on that. I get that also with this wheel of fortune. Regardless of the balance and the good that they're trying to get with you, this could talk about also um, uh, their their situations at home, and they're not even focused on that that's going on home, and they're focused on you. So 
that could be very ironic for someone. The 10, you know, can talk about families and completion. So where are you getting this time to really whip up this plan for this person? Damn, they. So with all that effort and, you know, they, um, I got for pile number two, coddle. I'm getting cradle. They want to like sing you a bedtime story, dude. They want to braid your hair. It's something real deep. They want to like um, take care of you like you're like they're your father or their your mother, you know nothing nothing weird. I'm just like they want to look at this King of Cups with his hand inside of his jacket, you know. Um, then we have the Hermit. Look at his hands. That's the sense of flame. That's the sense of wonder and knowledge. That's the um, that's igniting the flame the, you know someone could be a virgin someone could act like they're a virgin because they don't really ever have sex that that could be this person's problem they don't really have sex they could be a scorpio so they don't really have sex a lot so when they're gearing up to have sex they're just like very erotic and and oh they'll satisfy you perhaps okay so if they're a scorpio they're going to really satisfy you but to a point there's going to be a few gaps missing because they're they're not understanding um, because they don't practice this a lot. Um, they're not going to be so good with it now. But this person who's good with their hands, even if they are a Scorpio, they're going to be able to um, please you with their hands. Now, I don't get that they might have the opportunity to. Okay. It's like this person wants to crown you. So I get that this person is very imaginative. All right. Um, they speak things that aren't um, normal or they're very like very old fashioned or they could have been born back in the day like the 50s or something and um, they could be very well a Scorpio or a Taurus or a Gemini okay they could even be an Aries I get Aries so they're just kind of like emotionally different than everyone else everything they do is very different from everyone else it's just like wow I wonder what it's like to get you in the sack you know and, and that's their 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 sexual fantasies about you is to like probably finger you feel you all over put you in their mouth they might have like really tiny lips okay and they just want to and they might have like a very distinct nose again they like they, they really like to sniff and taste things they like to smell and taste they like to admire your beauty admire your hair all right, um, they like to look at everything. So this this is someone who could prefer the lights on. Um, if you want the lights off and they want the lights on, you just don't, you know, leave the lights on, okay, for this person because they, they get that they're very strong, even if they're younger. I get that there's a, a younger group watching me right now. And if they're younger, okay, if they're younger than you, so they could even be a little bit chubbier than you. They're strong. They're very strong. So there's someone who can flip you over. You can have a fun time with them, but you might be scared of them. You might be a little scared. You might shiver a little bit when you see them or when, you, when you're with them because you have no idea what's coming. Okay, with this hermit card, you have no idea what's coming. And, and the funny thing about it is they don't know either. But they know that there's someone who's very good with their hands and they know that there's someone who can like hypnotize you just with their hands. They can do this and you're like out <laughs> or something. And so I get that they want to use what they know with their hands with you. Okay. So their hands is something that I really get. They want to, um, I don't know, maybe suction cups. They want to use some toys too. Um, I get that they might have like a long penis. And if they're a woman, okay, I get that they have like a nice, like, they have like a nice, like fatty or something where they're, they may be long. I'm sorry. <laughs> they may be long bodied and uh, or strong necked um so i think that the fantasy is more of yours about them okay because they have like a strong neck or nice tiny lips but they're like there's someone who doesn't look like they're of this age they may stare they could be aries but um when they get with you they're kind of like a little emotionally different it's, kind of, it's almost like if your friend got turned into, like, a vampire or some kind of creature. Like, if, okay, like, uh, Twilight, like, Jasper. Kind of like a Jasper vibe, but like a um, Rosalie's boyfriend's kind of stature or something. I don't know. You know, um, 
It doesn't even have to be that big, but uh, I could have curly hair, but um, they stare very interesting. And everything that they want to do with you is in their eyes. Everything is in, it's all in their eyes. Their eyes and their hands um, are going to hypnotize you. So I get that this person, that's why I'm seeing all of the instructions here. It's probably you watching your fantasy about them. Okay, so you might want to even like rub your genitals on their legs you guys just want to that's it you guys want to smother each other with your genitals you may not even perform the actual act there you go you guys just want to like touch everything so you're just naked and you're rubbing your boobs all over them or your you know your private parts all over them you're just feeling each other you guys are hands on okay everything is grabbed everything is being touched everything is being held down with pressure everything is being grazed Everything is being hammered in if you finger each other. So the, the sexual fantasy here is to feel everything first. I'll put, I'll put my genitals in you and I'll, we'll scissor or we'll whatever we do um, a little bit later. But right now, all that I have on the outside of me is going to touch you, you know, and then everything is going to touch the inside of you. All right. Um, yeah, they, they're probably going to want to um, put you upside down okay and put their private parts in your mouth you might want to be hanging off the bed so you guys are going to get very into it i guess that it's going to be slow and whispers if you've ever been to like a cabaret you know kind of like that um but they i i think once you guys finally get into the act someone's going to be upside down or you're going to probably perform like 69 okay that's it but I think the first thing is like hands are going to be everywhere. Hands are, are going to be everywhere. Eyes are going to see everything. Okay. Someone may have an animal and the animal, if you know that your pet likes to watch you have sex, this animal is going to like be changed for life after that. Or they may have an animal and you're going to go to their house if they have like an animal. Um, someone may have like a mole on their private parts or something it's gonna whatever you've been hiding is gonna is gonna be shown I love how these two lines up here are dancing together you guys are gonna perform like very sacred acts together because of your hands you know some people just jump right into the sex kind of like pile number two I think and um, you guys are gonna be ones to like understand how it all came about how how the how the human race became to find those holes and know what to do with them you guys are like scientists here with the virgo card so you guys speculate everything or they do right you guys speculate everything with these two cards these two, these men are no joke there's nothing that you're going to do in that shower or on that commode that they don't know about so there could be wedding bells after that look at that i pulled out the four of wands so once you guys get into that kind of sex actual nature you guys are like the lovers okay there's gonna be no we got the eight of pentacles again so this this person or the both of you are really focused on each other so i get that this could be a twin flame journey because of this this eight of pentacles that came out again and it means because and because of this uh four of cups you guys are emotionally stuck on each other and every day you're trying to avoid you know the thoughts that you have of like opening up to one another Okay, so card Leo, so it's going to happen, it's going to happen, this is going to be probably the best sex of your life, okay, so that's awesome to know, look, the Queen of Cups is here now, we have the King of Cups in this reading, so yeah, you guys are going to be something after that, oh yeah, alright guys, so I hope this resonates with you, I hope it was cool, I hope it was fun, pile three is my favorite pile, um, I'll go ahead and do another one of these readings sometime this week. Guys, I'm so booked, and I really thank you and appreciate you so much for keeping me booked, keeping me grounded, keeping me happy. Um, I love you, Morph team members and supporters. Don't forget to comment down below. Uh, if, you're, if you read this, if you hear this, um, when you try to comment and the comments are disabled, remember, I have a new phone here. Uh, so it automatically disables the comments, so I have to go into my computer and enable them. So please, um, if you try to comment and you can't, wait till a little bit later and then comment. I really want to know which pile you chose. We're all lovebirds, excuse me, here. Even if you didn't resonate, tell me you enjoyed the reading. Um, thanks so much for watching. Love, light, and encouragement. Bye.